Well, I'm going to show you the team phone call will be a swarm. It will uh, send uh, messages uh, to all contacts and it will actually send a few more messages uh, as SMS uh, to specific addresses to, to most star subscribers. Not sure what it is, uh, but as far as I understood, it's uh, some kind of uh, service. To, okay, it's not a service, uh, some subscription service or that. But uh, in general, the, the, those emails will uh, send uh, messages to some uh, phone numbers. In addition, it will uh, drop uh, the actual attachment uh, file uh, and uh, text message uh, in here as uh, timofonica.txt and timofonica.txt and uh, dot .vbs, which, uh, which is the actual attached uh, volume. In, uh, system folder it will uh, drop a uh, tsmos.com uh, file which will corrupt the uh, tsmos uh, memory and it will corrupt the uh, hard uh, disk uh, boot uh, uh, data or something like that okay so, sorry but in general it will actually make a uh, hard drive unbootable and that way it, you will, won't be able to access any kind of data as far as i've understood it should be possible to recover, but I'm not quite sure if, if it's going to destroy whole drive or it will just uh, remove remove both data, which will be which will be possible to repair. Uh, I mean, the, to attach to other computer, and then it should be possible to recover all data. Well, moving on, let's uh, launch. Uh, let's just for this to check. Okay. I'm going to run. It's in, it's tries, in addition, it uh, tries to add an option to immediately delete uh, emails from uh, sent uh, items. But as far as I'm as far as I'm uh, offline, and it uh, and it didn't manage to send the files. Therefore, the uh, all emails are still still here. Let's open one, for example. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is the actual message. It's about uh, Telefonica, which is the some kind of uh, telecommunications company. I don't know. It's in Spanish, whatever. And uh, it's uh, about uh, how Telefonica tries to scam uh, people or something like that. This is the attached uh, file. It's uh, pretty much identical to the original one. And, and this, uh, these are actual messages which are sent to as uh, SMS uh, to phones. Uh, it says that uh, like uh, inform uh, information uh, telephone case cheating or something like that. Uh, this is uh, uh, actually generated number, uh, but tonight. I'm not quite sure how it's actually generated. As far as I've seen, uh, it has uh, some prefix, some uh, middle pre uh, something in between, and suffix, and uh, it's uh, and it's. I have no actual idea how it's generated, to be honest. And I can't show you anyway. No. Okay. Uh, the so I say it's actually added to the startup, so it will run the next uh, reboot. I'm not going to run it for now, just to see that it will actually run. Uh, this is the actual uh, message you'll get if you run now any VBS file, which because uh, this uh, script actually associated uh, all VBS files uh, to open with uh, Notepad uh, to open this file, which is this. Yeah, some more more Spanish, I don't know. If you want to translate, feel free. Okay, uh, if I try to open any kind of VBS file like this one again, it will actually just open the same file in here. That will we do the same for this. And if for example, I'll just, I'll just copy this random file, rename it to VBS and it will open the same file again 
to fix this I, I should uh, uh, run the following in uh, Evans Dust prompt uh, this script backslash uh, h other uh, uh, script and this should associate uh, all of all files, all VBS files back to original like this now it should uh, run uh, properly yeah uh, uh, the reason why it's not actually uh, now run it's uh, because uh, it added uh, before that it added the uh, registry uh, information in uh, about that uh, <coughs> how to say it added an information that uh, it's uh, insta already installed in the uh, in system, so it won't uh, reinfect it itself again and again. Okay, the only thing that remains now is to reboot. For all seeing that a uh, small flash of uh, smalls.com uh, window, and now it's uh, now the smalls uh, should be corrupted and the uh, boot data uh, should be also corrupted. Let's uh, reboot again. Yeah. And now it's all gone. Okay, uh, the smart checksum is bad, so it's pretty much deleted. I'll just uh, load default. And as I can't boot to hard drive, it's gone. Actually, it's not gone, uh, just only the boot data is gone, so I can't boot. That's pretty much about it, as far as no. So, yeah, bye.